Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jason and I am your watch guy today. Today I am reviewing a brand that gets so much hype on the YouTube review scene that it's a shock that I haven't actually reviewed one before. But I kind of get into this type of mindset where I think if people really hype a piece up, I kind of don't want to see it because I think it'll, it'll just ruin the experience for me. And I avoided Boltony as a review piece for a good while because of the amount of fantastic reviews that they were getting. And I sort of thought, well, can it be that good? Exactly the same way that I thought that of Sam Martin and even Zelos. And well, the Octopus Kraken store on AliExpress decided that I really do need to get my head out of my ass and review a Boltony piece. So they sent me this military inspired chronograph and it's fantastic so as i said it's been sent to me by the octopus kraken store on aliexpress that they're linked in the description i am not even going to go any further with this intro i'm just going to show you the watch because for 131 pounds this could be the best watch that you can pick up on the market in my opinion let's have a look Right, this is my first Boltony, and it is their vintage military inspired chronograph. Now, whilst the rest of the YouTube watch scene has been going mad for this brand, I've kind of sidetracked them and not picked up on them as much as I really should have. And I say I really should have because now I realize I'm very late to a very, very fantastic boat. This piece has really set the bar high for me with Boltony because it's absolutely fantastic. Now this was sent to me by the Octopus Kraken store on AliExpress, that's who's linked in my description. It's not an automatic chronograph. It is not some incredibly uh, overly specced piece for the pricing, but what it is, is such a well-finished watch that does everything right first time around for an affordable and to be fair, quite low cost. And yeah, as I say, I'm impressed. I'm very, very impressed by Bolton here. So let me talk to you about the watch. It comes in at £131 in the AliExpress sale. As I say, link is in the description. Now, Bolton have quite a few watches in their lineup now, and they are mostly very vintage inspired or vintage aesthetic pieces, as is this one. You'll have seen plenty of them on other review channels. This is, as I say, my first and hopefully not the last because it's absolutely fantastic. But a lot of other reviewers have really bestowed Botany with very high praise and I should have paid attention to that sooner. Now, to me, this looks very much like a field-style watch with a chronograph uh, function. Built in 316L stainless steel, bead-blasted case, finished very, very well. It does have a very premium effect to it. I would say that this looks very much towards the San Martin level. In fact, in some cases, it could probably be above. As I say, very simple, but they've done a lot well. Now, the movement packed into this one is a Seiko Mecha Quartz movement. I'll just unscrew the chronograph pushers here. It is the VK61 Quartz movement. As you can see, we have this 12 and 6 o'clock layout to the chronograph, or 12 and 6 o'clock layout to the sub dials. That bottom one is a sub second dial. You can see that really nice sweep of the chronograph hand around the dial. One thing that really does make that chronograph hand stand out is that red arrowhead tip. That's absolutely gorgeous, if I, if I do say so. It's a, uh, yeah, lovely aesthetic, isn't it? Let me just stop that there snap it back as you can see that mechanical snap to the chronograph hand yeah such a nice effect to me now let's talk dimensions it is 38.9 millimeters in diameter here to here it is 12 millimeters thick however with this nato band included which is the one that you will get shipped with the watch it is 14.3 millimeters i know not everyone cares for that type of measurement but just so you're aware of what it'll look like on mist once it arrives. It is 46.1 millimeters lug to lug, and we have 20 millimeter lugs on this piece. I think that the casing being bead blasted really does bring that vintage aesthetic military type of field watch aesthetic to this watch very well. 
Another thing that I really do appreciate about the look of the watch is the oversized crown and the screw down pushers. I think that they really distinguish this piece, almost bring it into a pilot-esque type of uh, area. Now it is a screw down crown, also really good level of grip. Now we do have a ghost date position for the first position, second position handset, screw that back in. No logo on the crown here, very simple casing to be fair. It is a screw down case back on this one. Let me just unhook this. As you can see, nothing engraved to the case back. It is just a simple screw down, circularly brushed case back here. Very simple effect. This watch is provided with 100 meters of water resistance and for the style of the watch, I think that that's perfectly suitable. Now, I would have maybe expected slightly more due to the screw down pushers and crown. However, taking off and away from this, that's exactly where the water resistance should be sat, if not lower. That bead blaster case is just gorgeous, isn't it? Now, I don't believe this is a dome sapphire. It does protrude the case, but pretty flat. It does have levels of AR coating too, as you can see with that slightly blue tinge there to the crystal. As we move into the dial itself, it's a very simple yet effective dial. I think that the Arabic numerals around the dial in that almost comic sans type of font, that very simple yet vintage aesthetic font, really does a lot for the design of the watch. Now we have the 1 to 5 numerals, 7 to 11, obviously missing the 12 and 6 to make way for those uh, sub dials there. Let me just move the handset around so we can see the rest of the dial. Our markers are marked by these triangular indices throughout the dial. Now they are in a aged loom effect. I'm not too sure if they are loomed, but we will find out shortly. Nice, well measured second track around the outer edge of the dial, printed in white, very intricate, very easy to read. Up at 12 o'clock, we have that chronograph minute indicator in that sub dial and down at the six o'clock we have the second hand ticking away nicely over to nine o'clock we have the chronograph print followed by boltony at three o'clock i think that this dial is very symmetrical even though it, it's off balance with the boltony and chronograph being different sizes i think that having the chronograph to one side and boltony to the other really does bring a level of symmetry to the dial itself and i really do appreciate that the handset is a sword style handset with a nice pin tip to them and as I mentioned prior the second chronograph hand really beautiful red arrowhead tip on there really does distinguish that second hand very nicely. Now we are going to have a look at the loom shot on this one so let me get the lights out and let me show you what the loom looks like on this Boltony chronograph. Okay so the loom on this one is actually quite surprising. All of the numbers are loomed as well as the indices and the handset is super bright even though it is that aged effect loom. I'm so impressed by that. I think that the indices or the triangular markers at the indices will be the first one to fade. However, the rest of the dial is sticking in there really well. You know, I really, I honestly thought that this would be the thing that let this watch down because I like to leave the loom shots until I'm actually reviewing the watch so it's a nice reaction for you guys and myself and honestly I, I, I had it nailed on that this would be the one thing that let it down it, it's just that's fantastic that's an absolutely incredible loom signature and the level of loom there is just also fantastic well done Boltony I, I've got to give this a, a solid a solid nine and I'm only not giving it a 10 because of the triangular indices around the dial being slightly more faded. Otherwise, it, it's perfect. It really is. And the handset's fantastic. I mean, I don't know how they've done that with that age loom because it's usually a massive downfall when you use that type of loom. But yeah, obviously they found the hack to it. Well done, Boltony. So we move away from the head of the watch. We have a very simple NATO band attached to this however one thing that they have done that is really quite good and really quite thoughtful is, is that they've matched the keepers on this nato band to the finishing of the watch they're also bead blasted effect and as you can see up here 
the buckle is also the same i really do appreciate that because it shows how much force has actually gone into this watch it hasn't just been thrown out with whatever you can find on the factory floor it's a it's actually a really good quality nato also 131 pounds for this watch that's an incredible deal isn't it it really is it's just kind of like dawning well it had dawned quite a bit i thought that it was fantastic for the price but even more so now as I'm, as I'm assessing it, it's just, yeah, incredible. Let me get this on wrist. So it looks on my six and a quarter inch wrist. And then we'll get to the moan section, which will be brief. So this isn't the longest NATO in the world. As you can see, it just about tucks in there. However, one thing I will say is that that overhang of the strap lasts the entire day. It doesn't, it doesn't come out of place or anything like that. And I really do like that because it does show a good quality of the NATO. It, it sticks quite well. I think that that's really telling. Now, I've really enjoyed wearing this watch. It fits to this so nicely, especially with that below 40 mil uh, diameter. I think that's a really nice wear and it does help with the classic look of the watch. But it's not a watch that doesn't make a feature of itself. It really is a really pleasant, really nice watch. To look at a very attractive piece and with that oversized crown and the screw down pushes i think that honestly it looks absolutely gorgeous on wrist and it's just yeah yeah it looks way more than a 130 pounds what should to be fair to them so let me talk to you about this very brief moan section so there was only one thing that really i could bring boltony down on and that was the crown not being signed otherwise absolutely perfect and the keeping up being signed. I'd have literally had no moans at all if those two had been signed. Because honestly, fantastic watch. Absolutely fantastic. And I have slept on Boltony way too much. And I will not be doing it in the future. I will be hounding the Octopus Kraken store for more review pieces. Because, yeah, this level is just incredible. Absolutely incredible. Well done to them. So guys, there is my first Boltony and it will not be the last, I promise you that, because these watches are fantastic. If this is anything to go by, these are definitely in the same field as Sam Martin, given that absolutely fantastic quality and build to their pieces at an incredibly low price. These, these are really exciting. There's a couple of brands on the AliExpress market now that I really do think are incredibly exciting. And I think a lot of people are missing them because they kind of thought that the AliExpress ship has kind of sailed and there's not that much decent stock on there to pick up anymore. But I think that a couple of brands are really nailing these watches and Boltony are definitely one of them. If you'd like to pick this watch up, I have linked the Octopus Kraken store in the description. Now, you can also have a look through their sale items. The 11.11 sale is still active right now. And you can get a decent deal on these watches at the moment. Make sure you apply coupons. Try and get them as low as possible. Thanks for watching this one, guys. Please remember to subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you in the next one.